Hi everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today we are talking about a topic which I haven't covered for quite some time, and that is cables. Let's get to it. I'm regularly asked by viewers which cables I'm using in these videos, and since I reviewed them three years ago, the answer has generally been the Japanese Oyaid Neo range. I've picked up more since then, and have never been let down by any of their audio or USB offerings. They remain a very solid choice. Another one has been this single USB cable from Xform, also a Japanese manufactured product. This has performed superbly for a couple of years now and looks great, but is only available in Japan, nowhere else, so it's hard to recommend to viewers elsewhere in the world. DJ Tech Tools from the US have been making regular USB A to B cables for many years, and I was using them very happily for a long time before I switched to Oyade, but that's been the extent of their range until fairly recently. The story of this review is that back in February, I went to the Red Bull Freestyle Finals in Poland and saw lots of DJs with recent MacBooks having hassles with USB-C. Apple, in their infinite wisdom, have seen fit to remove regular USB ports from their recent machines, leaving only Thunderbolt 3 ports with USB-C connectors, a standard no DJ gear has yet to adopt. This leaves users with two choices, either Apple's $19 USB-C to USB adapter, or source a cable with USB-C at one end, and USB-B for your mixer, controller, or sound card at the other. So when I realized DJ Tech Tools were offering a chroma cable with USB-C, I had them send me through a few to test. Available in various colors, they are rubber coated, feature ferrite cores at each end for interference rejection, molded connectors, and they come fitted with a Velcro cable strap. The cables are 1.5 meters in length, around five feet, which should be enough for most situations. They are designed to meet the standards of USB IF certification for USB-C cables, although they haven't been put through that process as it is prohibitively expensive for a small manufacturer, so that's fair enough. Regular viewers will know that my DJ laptop doesn't even have USB 3, let alone USB-C, so to make sure they went through a proper real-world test, I gave a couple to two local working DJs, Q-Ball and Jake Haley, both of whom have now been using the cables at gigs multiple times a week for three months and they are delighted with how the cables have performed. I did pick up one of the main competitors to try out, a similar cable from Belkin, but it's thin and spindly, so whilst it might work okay, it's not gonna have the durability of the Chroma cables. Priced at $15 each, cheaper than the Belkin cable and Apple's own dongle, I think the Chromas are simply the best option on the market right now for USB-C computers. End of story. Except it's not because when I reached out to them about the USB-C cables, DJ Tech Tools told me they were about to drop a whole new range of audio cables too. These are built a lot like the USB cables with thick rubber coating, which means they don't tangle easily, and they also come with a cable strap to help you wrap and store them tidily. They're available in three varieties, again in numerous colors. There are RCAs to RCAs, quarter inch jacks to jacks, and quarter inch jacks to RCAs. The connectors are molded on, and they're really chunky, so should be extremely durable. They are very large, almost to the point that I worried they wouldn't fit into the gaps between the sockets on some gear, but in my testing I found nothing that they won't work with. The closest I got to a fitting problem was, ironically, considering DJ Tech Tools are so associated with Traktor, on a Native Instruments Audio 8 sound card that has recessed RCA sockets, and the chroma cables just don't go into those quite far enough. Audio connection was still solid, but it wouldn't take a lot of force to shake the cable loose. The metal parts are all gold plated, and on all other equipment offer a great balance between firm connection and ease of removal. I'm no fan of the Neutrik style RCA plugs, which feel like you're breaking your sockets as you try and remove them. The strain relief pieces are movable, so you can have it near your equipment, or even split the cable completely in half to run to, say, a pair of active monitors, and I appreciate that kind of flexibility. Surprisingly, considering how good the cables look, my only real negative is a visual one. The markings for left and right are a small white plus or minus on the strain relief, which is just about okay on darker colored cables, but is completely invisible in club lighting on brighter colors like the orange. I'd like them to make that marking a little bit more contrasting, or maybe even think about offering cables with a different base color for left and right sides of the cable, rather than having both sides the same. It's easily remedied though with a little bit of electrical tape around the cable on one side to provide a more obvious marker though, and I'll be doing that for my long-term testing. Overall, the Chrome audio cables are very impressive as the USBs were before them. I hope they do well enough that the company can expand their range in future 
as I'd love to see matching XLR and balance jack options as well. So there you go, a good look at the chroma cables from DJ Tech Tools. As far as I'm concerned, if you are living that USB-C life, if you've got a recent MacBook Pro or something just with USB-C connections on it, then really these USB-C cables are a no-brainer. They are absolutely the best option that I found on the market. They are well made. I know from experience their USB cables, the older ones, last for years and years. They will take a beating and you can't live that dongle life. You know, those Apple dongles for USB-C, they're expensive. They're easy to break, they're easy to lose. You want a proper, solid, direct cable connection and these provide you with that. They're well priced as well, lots of different colors. I've had my guys out testing these now for three months, multiple gigs every week, both of them, and they loved them. So these are a solid recommend for me. Really, these are the ones to go for if you're in that situation. The audio cables, really, it's an equally strong recommend. They're really well made, they're very solid, easy to coil, they come with the cable management all built in there as well. The connectors are super chunky, and they've worked with pretty much everything that I've thrown at them. I haven't had any issues apart from that one tractor box where they were a little bit, you know, just didn't go in far enough. But otherwise, everything else, really solid connections every time. I like the fact they're not trying to sell, you know, audio snake oil and say, oh, these cables will sound amazing and everything else. Now, you know, these will sound better than those thin black cables with the red and white ends that you get free with your DJ gear. Of course they will, because they're a better quality cable, but it's gonna take a high-end system, a really high-end system, to tell any major differences between cables at any kind of price range. But yeah, these are all about the durability, the design, and they've nailed that down completely. Again, value-wise, decent. 25 bucks each in the US, $20 each when you buy three, which I think is a very fair price, and certainly on a par with the Oyade Neo range as well. So it's great to see some other competition in this kind of higher end DJ specific audio cable space. There's been a real lack there, and now we've got some. So yeah, all in all, recommended stuff. This is all very, very good indeed. Thank you for watching today. Do make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified whenever there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.